you know, after many years, as India sees a shift in the in electric vehicle ecosystem, uh, we have been always reporting on how electric vehicles are not safe and how what is being done by the government, by the private players, uh, by the Society for Electric Vehicle Manufacturers, really to ensure that ve- electric vehicles are safer, faster, and of course, the consumers adapt to it much more rapidly. Now, Logran Materials, we have reported earlier, has started its own indigenous factory of manufacturing battery cells, and I'm again joined by the co-founder Akshay Singhal for Logran Materials. Thank you, Akshay. Again, pleasure Thank meeting friends. you. Um, we are at this uh, amazing, uh, you know, Bangalore International Expo for electric vehicles. Uh, what are you showcasing here? What is really the crux of the matter? Because uh, retrofitting is being done. What's new with you? Right. So, as you already know that we have our log nine batteries, which are rapid chargeable within 15 minutes, 30 minutes time period and last for a very long time, more than 20 years, they have a life, right? They are available for two wheelers and three wheelers in the market right now. Now we are uh, today uh, launching our battery packs for four wheeler uh, cargo segment like your Tata Ace kind of a vehicle platform as well as uh, new upgraded two-wheeler platforms for commercial deliveries like Swiggy, Zomato, food delivery, e-commerce deliveries and all of those things. So all these vehicles are being shown here. At the same time the station that we the charging station that we are standing over here this is being powered by solar energy. So we have solar panels on the top then that power is being fed into a log 9 battery for stationary storage and that battery is powering the charging station which is powering the vehicles. So it is the, the concept that is being shown here is that there is a possibility of using using absolutely clean energy to charge electric vehicles and then finally use those electric vehicles for commercial deliveries. Right, actually, if I, let's, get, let's get across for the, uh, uh, for the charging stations and uh, you know, uh, this this is the vehicle that you're showcasing. It's, it's, it's a, this is the one which is already available. This is Omega, this is Omega CK Mobility and this has been, uh, this is within a partnership with Omega CK Mobility. Yeah. Uh, you have done retrofitting for this particular Not vehicle? This was an electric vehicle to start with. Okay. We had provided our batteries, ah. which makes this uh, vehicle chargeable within 35 minutes, which is the fastest in India and globally as well. Plus safer. Plus safer. So there is no chance that this, uh, this uh, can catch fire or explode or any, any kind of safety issue that can come up. At the same time, the life of the battery is more than 15, 20 years. Mm. So the, uh, you won't see any kind of range degradation or any kind of performance issues coming up as the vehicle is getting older. Mm, right. And I would like to make you to sit here on your uh, Grafton bike here, Rapid EV. Uh, so you have you have actually uh, uh, provided a battery for this ve- particular vehicle for Grafton. Tell us about the vehicle uh, and what will. Uh, why is it not coming to the Indian market in the private space? Why are you only focusing on the commercial space? So first of all, this vehicle has been specifically designed for ruggedness, which is required for last mile deliveries. Second of all, electric vehicles make sense only for B two B or commercial applications right now from a climate perspective, because to save emissions or to create a positive climate impact, you really need to run the vehicles. The utilization should be high enough, mm. which is not the case in personal mobility, but only in commercial mobility. As the grid becomes cleaner, so that we have more renewable energy coming up on our electric grid and we are using clean energy to charge the vehicles, mm. then it will start to make sense even for lower utilization segment, which is the personal mobility segment. Right. So that's why as a climate conscious company, our focus is that we will focus on commercial vehicles, whether it is two-wheeler, three-wheeler, four-wheeler, truck, bus, whatever it is. But as long as it is being utilized for commercial purposes, and then two, three years down the line, four years down the line, as our aspiration of being a very clean energy grid is successful, then we'll start venturing out in the personal space. Uh, tell me about the business now. How are you performing? How much have you raised till now? What is your order book currently? And uh, what are your future tie-ups with the companies looking like? So uh, we have so far raised $25 million equity and debt. And uh, right now uh, we already have more close to 2000 batteries, log in batteries across two wheeler and three wheeler segments out there in the market. Uh, we have a strong order book of more than 25,000 vehicles that we need to fulfill within this year. Uh, so that's the kind of outlook that we have. We are working with uh, 15 different vehicle manufacturers starting from larger names, established uh, uh, brands in the market to new startups, new OEMs coming up in the space. Uh, already four or five of them are, are out there in the market that we have launched like Omega, uh, then uh, we have Graviton, we have E-Bike Go, we have Grevol and Northway, uh, which has been showcased over here. And then more and more launches will be happening in the next few months. Are you are you in touch with companies like Ashok Leland, Tata, and all uh, for supply of batteries? Let's not name them. I know it's a it's a it's a protocol that you guys follow, but. Uh, tell us, give us some information on, uh, are you in touch with these respective listed companies? Yes, so there are for companies which we are working with as well. Uh, you will see those launches happening leading up to Diwali and beyond. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, uh, just uh, last month or so, uh, we had announced a partnership with Pinnacle, for example, for the truck and bus segment. So they were, uh, they are a large company in the autocom space and now they are venturing out into electric truck and bus segment. So you will very soon see vehicles with our batteries uh, under the Pinnacle brand name. 
right uh, we we recently saw your uh, factory being inaugurated uh, in full fully functional capacity uh, we've heard that you've expanded again yes. uh, so what is what was about that and when can we expect and what would be the new capacity so there are two levels of manufacturing in ev battery space one is cell manufacturing and battery manufacturing so the while there are a lot of people who are trying to make battery packs in india nobody does cell so what we announced last month was a cell manufacturing facility and uh, that is the first in india and the largest in southeast asia mm-hmm. right so this is going to be commissioned by september mm-hmm. uh, as as we had spoken last time and now we are also scaling up our battery pack manufacturing so we had a capacity of 5000 uh, three wheeler equivalent battery packs per year mm-hmm. that we had in our current campus which you visited last time and uh, this is being scaled 10x mm-hmm. and it will go live next month Uh, tell me uh, you you're scaling 10x for your battery manufacturing and uh, eventual supplies uh, what is the reason behind that uh, what is the rational are you seeing a, a, a insane amount of demand for batteries from indian made batteries or is it only log 9 batteries that are seeing huge demand so there's a huge demand for uh, log 9 batteries or batteries specifically designed for india okay. the biggest challenge has been that uh, the usual batteries are not designed for the indian climatic conditions or types of vehicles that we have that's the reason with our batteries omega seki uh, when we launched with the three wheeler they went from number 5th position in the market to number was number 1 position in the sales volume per month right and because people were really liking the consistent performance of the vehicle the rapid chargeability of these battery packs so that's the reason there's a huge demand and you already uh, would have seen that in the three wheeler vehicle segment the electric three wheeler segment uh, we have crossed 50% of new vehicle sales on evs okay. so there's a huge demand uh, to go electric as long as uh, somebody is able to provide a consistent and reliable ev solution and that's what we're trying to do with our partners so uh, <clears throat> how's the outlook for uh, electric vehicle segment now uh, the fire cases have eventually reduced uh, do you think it was one of in one of in few cases that uh fire was being caught or uh, do you think such a phenomena would continue if we can if we use a uh, uh, poor quality cells the so poor quality of uh, battery or cells whatever will definitely lead to more such incidents but one thing that has happened is that now people are paying attention to customizing solutions for indian requirements uh earlier what was happening was you blindly import stuff and put it out there in the market but now at least with all these incidents happening people have realized that that, that will not work and they will need to put measures safety measures and other design factors into the pack as well as at the cell level so that things don't blow up okay uh, last question uh, uh, um, any other trend you would like to highlight for electric vehicle that you have noticed because considering the crazy amount of demand that particular electric vehicle especially in the battery segment is being seen uh, do, you, do do you fear that there might be a competition coming out uh, that might compete with you in the battery space or do you think because of the patents that you have you are safe and secure I would like more and more competition to come up. Actually, the thing is that uh, if you look at Europe, if you look at US and China, in that sense, right, uh, all these geographies are going for si- significant amount of indigenization when it comes to cell manufacturing and battery pack technology and all of those things. If we don't have more and more coming companies coming up in India, we'll not be able to grow that ecosystem and we'll never be able to meet that demand. Going electric is a no-brainer, but we also need to support that with the right kind of supply chains, right kind of manufacturing capacity. and if we don't start setting that up scaling it up right now and one company cannot do it the demand is just huge and it's only going to grow so from that perspective more and more indian companies need to come up and not just make commitments but actually take steps to set it up but uh, you know uh, it will be beneficial to you because you will have monopoly in the particular game right now thank you akshay for speaking to business today tv well that was akshay singhal co-founder for uh, log9 materials that uh, speaking very interestingly on how the trends are for the battery manufacturing how really Uh, the company is focusing on in manufacturing indigenized batteries that really don't catch fire in fact i also saw a battery that was submerged in water for 3 days and was still working so clearly akshay hats off to you thanks for watching if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe